am NBC 10's Sheila Watko, and I'm training for my first ever Blue Cross Broad Street Run. Today, I'm getting some great tips that are going to help me and you prepare for the race. When you run and when you're training people on how to run best, what kind of stretches do you recommend? And are warm-ups and cool-downs really that important? So I think a warm-up is really important, especially uh, like most of us, for somebody who sits most of the day, uh, getting your glutes and hamstrings and muscles firing before you run. Uh, we have our groups do a dynamic warm-up. Um, studies have shown static stretching, where you're kind of leaning forward, touching your toes, isn't necessarily the best for you. We're going to start with a big lunge out with our left foot. Put our right hand down to the ground. Back knee is bent. Back knee is bent, okay. yep. Uh, reach back with your left hand. And then bring that left hand down on the inside of your foot. Oh. And bring your left elbow toward the ground. Should feel that kind of opening up your hips a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. Feels actually really good. <laughs> yeah. And then one hand on either side of your foot. Take a half step forward with your back leg. Straighten your front leg, lift your toe. Let's talk about warm-ups. I feel like sometimes certain people don't really give the warm-ups the attention that they deserve or the time that they deserve. What are your favorite moves to get warmed up before a run? Sure, so uh, an easy one is just taking the first 10 minutes to walk is a great warm-up. Uh, some others are doing uh, squats or lunges. Two things really to focus on. One is what your knees are doing and the other is what your backside's doing. So you want to kind of push your butt back and then keep your knees toward the outside as well. Okay. And how many of these do you usually do to warm up? Warm up five to 10, I think is plenty. We'll get muscles firing, get ready to go. Squats, check them off. Next up, right. lunges. What's the best form? I like doing a walking lunge where you're gonna take uh, get a pretty large step out with your right leg. You don't want your knee to come past your toe. Your back knee can come down pretty as far as you want it to. Okay. Uh, and then step forward. We'll All go right. To the other leg. Getting a full on workout yeah. with this shoot. My goodness. <laughs> and a cool down. Is, is it sufficient enough just to walk home from the race? Is that enough? I think a walk after you're running is, a, is actually a great way to cool down. Stretching afterward, uh, getting a massage is wonderful. Uh, after a race, definitely can go a long way into keeping, a, you know, keeping that soreness down. Uh, but also, we, we, you do have to balance it with after the race, you just want to celebrate and, and be happy to finish. Ross, thank you so much for all of these amazing tips. Good luck in your race. And we will see you on the course.